What's up? I'm Troubleshoot. In this quick video, I'll be taking you through a seriously exciting brand new update for Discord. If I pull up a Discord server here and click the server's name in the top left, you'll see a brand new option, invite a guest. Now this is different to the invite people followed by edit and creating a temporary membership here with which they're kicked if they disconnect from a voice channel or whatever without a role assigned. That's pretty cool, but this takes it a step further. If we choose invite a guest instead, we see this brand new pop-up, invite a guest voice only. A guest invite allows someone to join a server voice channel without being a server member. Guests cannot see the rest of the server and are kicked once they leave voice. If you're looking to play a competitive Counter-Strike game or something like that and invite your teammates over, they can only see the voice channel that they're in, nothing more, nothing less. And when they choose to leave, that's it. They're not in your server anymore. And this is a fantastic addition that should really help people who try to play around with new people without having them snoop through your entire history. So if I go ahead and choose a voice channel here, we can create a link just like such. And of course, we can edit it to raise the number of days or minutes it's active for. And of course, set a max number of users. If we go ahead and copy this link here and paste it in our browser, send it over Steam or anything like that, someone else can click on it or click the plus button on the far left and paste it in under join a server as such. And upon joining the server, they'll be dropped straight into the voice channel. And that's it. Previously, you saw these are all of the channels that we have access to, all of the server members, etc. But in this locked down edition here, we only see the voice channel that we're in, nothing more, nothing less. You can see that's pretty much it. I can only open the chat on the side, which brings up this section here, the chat for just this channel. If I type a message here like hello world and send it, then head across to the server in my other client here, that's part of the server. We can join the voice channel and talk with whatever guest user as per usual. We can also open the chat for the channel as such. And now we have text chat, but you can see here, I previously tested this out and this chat history doesn't show for temporary members. Memberships. So not only do they only see one channel and one channel only, but when they leave it, the server vanishes completely until they use the join link once more. It also appears in the section up here where voice channels usually would appear, such as private discord calls, etc. And on top of this, we can't give these people roles, much like the temporary membership. If you were to give someone with a temporary membership a role, they'd be allowed to stay in the discord server past disconnecting from the voice channel instead of being being kicked, but if we right click the guest here, you can see there is no option to add roles. If we head across to the server settings followed by members and search for the user here, you can see they don't even appear at all, which is pretty crazy. We can right click them in chat, for example, and still we don't have any role options. Now I did test this a few minutes ago and there was an option for a role, but upon clicking things, nothing happens. And that's exactly what's going on here. These guests, which are specifically marked as guests, can't get roles can't do anything like that. They're purely here to interact with you while you want them around. And as soon as you choose to disconnect them from voice, for example, then that's it. They leave the server entirely until they get a link to come back or of course reuse the same link. Now, just a quick note, if you want to use this now, not every server has this ability as I'm currently showing you this Nilesoft community, for example. But if I have a look at my own community, I don't have this option. It's rolling out to servers slowly and I assume when it's out of testing phase, it'll go live for absolutely everyone. So in the meanwhile, you'll just need to find a server with access to this feature in order to test it out or of course use it. That's really it. It's a super exciting, super useful little feature that's really a huge quality of life increase for people who play, for example, competitive Counter-Strike. You can invite your teammates without worry of them searching through your chat history. And of course, they'll be able to interact with you as usual with your friends. You disconnect them when the game's over and that's it. People go their separate ways. It's an exciting little update. And if I find a official post about it from Discord, I'll make sure to link it down in the description below. But anyways, that's really it for the super quick guide. So thank you all for watching. My name's been Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao.